Hey Zwifters and welcome to this recon for stage two of the Zwift Racing League. It's the Greater London Flat and it's a team time trial. 28.9 kilometers, just 150 meters of elevation on this one. We've got three power-ups to utilize here. We've got the Aero, the Draft, and of course the Feather. Really, the only useful place to utilize the Feather on this one, I would say, is on the lead-in. So just hope if you're gonna get it, you get it on that first banner that we go through within the first kilometer. That first drag and the lead-in starts at kilometer 3.5, but we'll take a bit more detail when we do look at the course but this is one of the fastest team time trial courses in the game in my opinion once you get onto the course proper there's only really two minor drags one maxes out at two percent and the other one at three 500 meters and 800 meters respectively so this is all about efficient team time trialing maintaining the speed on the front of your pace line as much as possible so that means that front rider not backing off the speed or the power until that second rider is also on the front and the pace is high there's lots of other tips when it comes to making those changes in team time trialing and again you'll find some links to other videos that i've done on that in the description below and maybe up in the corners here in terms of the bike choice it's really simple Go for the most aerodynamic bike you can get at your level. And as always, I will leave a link to the Zwift Insider pages down below. But you're looking at the Cervelo S5, the Specialized Venge, even the Chapter uh, Toa now is also up there in terms of one of the fastest bikes. And in terms of wheels, again, the most aerodynamic wheels you can get at your level. Here are some choices to choose from here. All right, so in terms of the recon for the course, it's going to be fairly short. We're just going to look at a single lap on this occasion, but you're going to leave the pens, take a ride, and as I said, quite quickly, you're going to go through a banner and pick a power-up. And again, aero, draft, or feather. When you're utilizing these power-ups, just make sure you're communicating with your team, utilizing it to recover or drive the speed. But if you're utilizing it to drive the speed, it's useful if you've got a few of the team utilizing the power-ups at the time and you're not driving dropping your teammates. On this course, if you want to set some fastest times, you need to get six riders on that course at least through completing that first lap and through the lead-in. Now, at 3.5, you're going to start this climb from Embankment up to Trafalgar Square. Five to 800 meters, 5% maximum gradient, but as I said, it's imperative you get all your riders up this climb together before you start the lap proper. You're then gonna go through the 1K banner and then you'll get onto the red roads of the Mall where it's the start of lap one proper. And then, as I said, the course is reasonably flat. In fact, you don't hit the first incline until we get to this point here, which is kilometer 13.5. Max is out at 2%, just 500 meters. Again, just make sure you're communicating and not gapping those riders who maybe have just finished their pull on the front. Then quite quickly at kilometer 15, you're gonna to come to the second drag. A little bit longer, a little bit steeper, but it's 800 meters and 3% maximum gradient. So nothing too concerning there but again just make sure you're communicating make sure that rider who again is dropping from the front and getting onto the back is not getting gapped at the back there again as i said on lap one you need six riders to maintain that speed as much as possible So really, after you've done that second climb, it's a long flat road again until you go through the start finish banner to start the second lap and pick up those power ups for that final lap. Then at kilometer 25.3 and 26.8, again, you will take on this five and 800 meter climb before all riders drive it towards the finish line to maximize those points and get the fastest time possible. Enjoy the team time trial. If you wanna go and recon the course, you can join the ladies at Team Rave on the Sunday evening, 6 p.m. GMT. I know there are plenty of other options out there in terms of recon as well, but this is all about practicing that team time trial technique check out these videos if you found this useful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you on tuesday in the roads of london where hopefully it'll be dry and sunny good luck and ride on